Hello friends, today we are welcoming Mr. Rajesh Kile, founder director of animationwala.com. He has 20 years experience in this career field. Can you please guide our students for hmm. 2D, 3D and clay? What is the difference between these things? Okay, uh, see 2D, 3D and clay is the styles of an animation. Okay. Uh, let's take 2D animation as an example. Uh, in 2D animation, uh, when you create animation out of 2D, okay. you have to use multiple frames and series of pictures to create movement on screen. Okay. Uh, technically, persistence of vision mm -hmm. is the principle behind this. Uh, that's why in 2D animation, most of the time, you will find that animators that they are keep on drawing either on the paper or either on the digital tools okay. to make animation. Okay. Uh, this is a hand-drawn or digital mm. animation drawing concept. Uh, in 3D animation, partly uh, pre-production work is being designed by hand in terms of creating characters or maybe creating properties. Okay. But the rest of the entire production is being designed with the directly on the computer with the help of software applications. Mm. So that is the basic difference between 2D and 3D. But in clay animation, the technique is totally different. In clay animation, you have to shoot uh, your uh, puppets okay. which was or which is created out of uh, puppets or maybe clay as a material or maybe as a thermocol or as a plastic in clay. Various materials. In various okay. materials. Okay. So you create puppets with the help of wireframes so you can move them uh, directly on the miniature sets. Okay. You have to create a miniature set and then you have to shoot it. So that's the basic difference again but in the entire three styles uh, persistence of vision is this principle is common frame by frame shooting is again common okay. and types of layers mm -hmm. is again common mm -hmm. but the end effect on screen is different. Okay. This is the uh, broadly uh, difference between three, three styles. Okay. In 2D animation you will find most of the cartoon shows like Tom and Jerry or Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse was created out of 2D style. Mm -hmm. uh, Powerpuff Girls or maybe uh, some uh, famous 3D characters as, as a Kung Fu Panda. Okay or uh, uh, My Friend Ganesha, mm -hmm. which was released in India mm -hmm. recently, was made out of 3D animation technique. Okay. And if you look at it as a ad film called uh, Tropicana mm -hmm. for the juices, mm -hmm. it, it was made out of clay animation concepts. Okay, okay. So these are the few examples and the techniques behind this three. Okay. Hmm. It is important drawing still for this animation career? Uh, yes, of course, because animation is a visual art. So each and every frame or each and every layer which you create mm -hmm. for the screen application, it have to have a beautification part. So that's why drawing is uh, very much important in all the styles of animation. Mm -hmm. And definitely uh, when I say drawing, that time I mean that drawing as a human figure or animals or any object, parallelly the color scheme of that character or maybe the locations. Mm -hmm. So painting and drawing or drawing and painting, this both the subjects are equally important for the animation. Sir, the students from BA become course who are interested in this career, how should they go there? Okay. Actually, uh, students who are from BA become or BSc background mm -hmm. uh, also can pursue animation as a career. Uh, but the combination between basic foundation art skills is equally important. Mm -hmm. uh, I found that most of the students from this faculties they do straight away animation courses which was based on software platforms. Okay. Uh, but that some of that uh, education of software education is not uh, helpful to them for a long term career growth. Okay. So that's why such faculty students should go for animation with the help of some combination of art mm -hmm. and software. Mm -hmm. Uh, so my suggestion is that if they go for short term courses initially to learn the basic drawing skills, basic painting skills, mm -hmm. the lighting skills, giving texturing skills and doodling skills parallel to the software courses okay. which will help them to a, uh, for the better uh, growth in this field of animation. Okay. So the combination of art and software is equally important. So if they keep this approach, mm -hmm. I think they will definitely competent enough to uh, go further in their careers. Okay. Which colleges or institutes are available for these animation courses? Hmm. See, there are a lot of uh, private as well as government institutions who offer such animation courses. Uh, to name it few, 
uh, it makes sense that if you look at it from a uh, government point of view and after 12th if you want to come to this field mm -hmm. uh, there are a few colleges like uh, NID in Ahmedabad okay. which is 100% government owned uh, uh, university or college who promotes animation out there mm -hmm. parallelly if you come to uh, uh, Pune then there are uh, Symbiosis Institute or MIT College of uh, Design is also there mm -hmm. who teaches animation programs who run animation programs if you come back to the private sector people, then you will have a lot of institutes. I mean, to name it few, it's very difficult to name all the institutes, but a uh, lot of people, a lot of private pe people, they uh, educate students in this area. But the only thing is, I think I personally believe that every student should uh, understand the uh, potential of his or her first. Mm -hmm. Then accordingly, you try to find out the strength of that institute, whether it is a private or whether it is a government owned and uh, try to find out their faculties, what they teach, how they teach, what infra they have, uh, what uh, their ex-students are doing currently these days in the market mm -hmm. and accordingly if they can take decision mm -hmm. then they can go for this field okay. uh, comfortably okay. and get good education out of it and they can proceed further okay. the entire courses. Sir, hmm. can you please tell us about the various sports in this career like storyboard or uh, script writing hmm. or like like okay. us. Okay. See, once you finish your basic uh, animation courses mm -hmm. and once you enter in the animation studio, the first few uh, month you have to work as a trainee animator first. Okay. Uh, no matter what is your specialization area, but still you need to prove your metal mm -hmm. that okay, I am good at X, Y, Z subjects. And after that, the studio can offer you certain post. For example, if you are good at uh, pre-production areas, then they'll definitely offer you a post of a pre-production designer, okay. maybe assistant designer, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a background designer or maybe layout man or maybe a storyboard artist to be very specific or maybe a character designer. Okay. Uh, in that case, if you are good at animating character properly, mm -hmm. then you can work as an animator, assistant animator, supervising animator, production coordinator, uh, project manager, okay. which is a managerial work and creative work combination. Mm -hmm. So certain posts are available. If you are really good at post-production areas, mm -hmm. then you can <coughs> get job as an editor, maybe compositor, maybe assistant compositor and uh, you can just get the proper post out there and then you can perform at your level best Then definitely within a two or three years of time, you can gradually reach to a level where everyone want to reach, that is called animation direction. That. So these are the few uh, posts are available in the studios. Of course, writing a script is a totally different ball game altogether. Mm -hmm. But uh, a few people or few students are also good at that. So they can also write and they can also become our script writers. Okay. I'll put it this way that they can be a good visual communicators. Mm -hmm. So they can write a visual script rather than the word script. Word. So these are the few combinations and posts available in the studios to perform. Okay. Sir, before joining this career, mm. animation career, which softwares are sh surely they should learn? Okay. See, uh, during the animation courses, if you are studying 2D animation, mm. then they have to learn Photoshop and Flash combination. Okay. If you wish to learn a 3D animation areas, then you have to have a combination of 3D Max and Maya. And if you want to get into clay animation, then you have to learn a Photoshop and After Effects type of softwares. Okay. In addition to this, you can also go for Adobe Premiere or uh, Final Cut Pro. Uh, these are the few softwares which helps you to make editing easier mm -hmm. and uh, as far as the requirement of the film. Okay. So these are the 8 to 10 softwares are uh, important for a person who are pursuing animation as a career. But more importantly to this, uh, they also must learn fundamentally drawing concepts. Okay. Uh, if they have this combination, then they have a better uh, opportunities to grow in this field for a long term player. Mm -hmm. Otherwise only software education may restrict your growth, growth okay. in few uh, five ten years future to come. Okay. That's the suggestion. Okay. Uh, sir, hmm. what is about the career scope hmm. in animation hmm. in India and abroad? Please tell us. Okay, uh, see, uh, let's assume that you are uh, successfully completed your animation course either in India or maybe in abroad. Mm -hmm. You have to look at it to a different perspective altogether to this field because this field is not 
just too applicable for entertainment industry. But since last eight to ten years, the application, vertical applications of animation is being changed and keep on changing year by year or month to month. A uh, lot of application you will find these days in e-learning sector. A uh, lot of application you will find in uh, gaming sector. Again, in special effects sector. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think this is the biggest uh, opportunity for uh, youngsters that they can pursue their career or they can specialize their career either in entertainment or in gaming or in visual effects okay. or in uh, medical industry or maybe mm -hmm. e-learning sector. In parallel to this, uh, animation also these days uh, is applicable to uh, architectural walkthroughs or uh, creating engineering staff or maybe medical related animation okay. staff. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of documentaries these days are having combination of animation and live action shoot. Mm -hmm. So looking at this scope, I am sure that everyone can play a very vital role in this. They can just need to pick up their specialization skill, mm. uh, be ready with the correct and right technical education as well. Uh, because a lot of people they think that animation is just to creativity. But I believe that it's not just a creativity, it is a combination of creativity and the technology. technology. So these days the platforms are also changing because mm -hmm. the uh, uh, cinema halls is one device where you can gather together and see the movies. But these days a lot of people they watch movies on internet or computers or mobile phones or other devices. So similarly when your device is being changed, changed. So automatically a person who is animating that uh, needs to understand the output formats. Mm -hmm. That's why the technology is very important. Mm -hmm. So if you are really uh, comfortable with these such uh, uh, unique uh, devices then I'm sure everybody can uh, enter in the field with the more confidence. Definitely they can go uh, step by step and reach to uh, the highest level of the studio. They can also have their own animation studio. They can also get into the business of animation. Mm -hmm. Because working with some animation studios for first initial 10-15 years is fine. But as on you, once you start growing in that mm -hmm. area, uh, once you start getting more experiences and once you become something in this field, then definitely more and more projects comes to you where clients want uh, some specialized services which is not being taught in the educational uh, uh, your career. Mm -hmm. But still that way you can also get into the business of animation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in that area, I found that uh, India is the right uh, uh, territory to work on this field because uh, Indian government had uh, taken animation as an information technology enabled services area. Okay. So that's why most of the rules and regulation of IT is being applied here. So that's the best part of it. But definitely you need to find out the opportunities in the market. Yeah. You have to be open enough to judge that which is the my area where I can serve better. Mm -hmm. I can specialization front, I can deliver better mm -hmm. so my client gets happy and can come repeat it to me mm -hmm. and this way they can build their career successfully and make good amount of money. Parallelly they can also make fame, mm -hmm. they can make their name and they can grow as a brand ambassador also of some of the organization. Mm -hmm. Because I know that UNESCO and uh, uh, UNICEF and CRY foundation people mm -hmm. there these days they take a lot of animation content okay. to educate or to document their procedures okay. for the people, common people. Uh, and as an animation, if you look at it again as a job or maybe a career scope point of view, that various age group people is also target audiences for you. Mm -hmm. So you may be good at uh, entertaining age 3 to 6 people only, nothing wrong. Or you can entertain people between age uh, 10 to maybe 15 as a teenagers. So you need to find out the real scope behind mm -hmm. in terms of literature point of view first mm -hmm. and then apply into animation mm -hmm. content and grow in that area and of course parallelly I believe that everyone in this field these days needs to understand the marketing areas marketing. because mm -hmm. content creation is one area but how to market it is another area and you are the only one better person who can market your product well because you know the product in and out. So this way I think good scope is there. Uh, India and abroad is uh, very competitive markets, mm -hmm. especially if you go to Middle East, the lot of uh, new content is being uh, demanded for various devices in terms of games, in terms of films. So I think and even some NGOs also these days are getting into this field. As I told you, UNICEF and UNESCO are already there. Mm -hmm. But Lance Clubs and the Rotary Club, Rotary okay. International, Lance International, they are also looking for some options to make uh, their uh, work promoted with the help of animation. animation. So I found scope is huge. You just need to position yourself correctly in the field of uh, entertainment. They have to or prove maybe. Definitely. Thank you, Rajesh sir.
you told us very interesting and very uh, correct information to our students. Uh, you also visualized them very properly. Yes. Thank you for that. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you.